Hey everyone, it's Melissa and I'm here to plan in my vertical a well-crafted life pages. So like many of you, I am going to be doing a fall theme spread. I absolutely love fall. I really love the hot weather when it finally appears in Vancouver, but there's just something so magical about the cool crisp air during fall. So I'm really excited to be planning a fall theme spread. I'm going to be using the seasonal orange sticker book. I just love this sticker and I kind of want to plan an entire spread around it. This little uh, pumpkin with florals in it. So I kind of want to use this orange and some purple themes. So I think I am going to use that as my inspiration. And I'm going to start by laying this sticker down. I love the feel of autumn. I sure do. Really excited to have the season change. Okay. I'm not looking forward to all of the rain, but it'll just be nice. Just wear thick sweaters to have everything pumpkin. I do love fall. So I am going to start so I'm thinking that I'm going to just take the inspiration and do kind of an orange and purple spread. So I kind of want to use this Visit a Pumpkin Patch. Okay, and I almost want to cover this a bit up, maybe actually. I think I'm going to start it here. Okay. fairly straight. Now it is Thanksgiving weekend, so we're going to be hosting a big Thanksgiving meal on Sunday. So I think I'm going to do the give thanks there. So we're going to be doing our usual turkey dinner. So my husband and I are actually the ones who cook turkey in the family, so we are going to be hosting my parents and my aunt and my cousin. So it's the first time they're gonna be having Thanksgiving with us, my aunt and my cousin. So I'm really looking forward to having a good big feast for Thanksgiving. So that will be really fun to plan. I usually like to do a daily sheet and then I will really note the times at each um, side has to go in to just really make the day run smoothly. So what I like to do is I will do one box sticker at, at every row. So since there's one here, here, I'm probably going to put one up there. Just trying to keep in mind that I'm doing kind of a purple and orange theme. I think I might actually put this there instead of putting a box sticker. Just trying to figure out how I can put this so that the lines won't be too distracting. I think I will do it like this so that the line can go through that edge of the bike. Okay, I love that. And I think since this really inspired me, I should put it in the corner. Maybe I can do a little cluster of pumpkins with this at the center of it. I think maybe I'm going to pull from the other sticker books that I know that has a bunch of pumpkins in it. Like these watercolor pumpkins. I love that. I think I'm going to get Monday started off by putting a little today sticker. And then just to work in some of this purple, I'm going to put this purple checklist here. I'm just going to put a header up top. I will put a remember here. Okay. I think I am going to build a little cluster of pumpkins right here. So I'm just going to put maybe one here. I'll do another one right beside it. And then maybe I will do some foliage along the bottom here. Okay, I love that. Let me just flip the leaves right side up. Okay. 
I'm loving this so far. Now, since we're having, I know that this is, I know that we're gonna watch a movie on Saturday, but it is not a Halloween movie. We're gonna be going to watch Venom. So I am going to make note of that. Maybe by bringing in some more purple. So just put that there. Okay. And then I kind of want to work in some of this foliage. Just trying to figure out how to do it effectively. I think maybe I will start by putting one here. I'm kind of wanting to layer it with some colorful boxes. I don't really do a lot of layering. I feel like that's something that I can definitely be better at. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. Now I am looking for my colorful boxes sticker book. What I really love or what, what I really wish about the colorful boxes is that there would be one that had much deeper colors that kind of went with this color palette. This seems to be much brighter and kind of pastel, but not really bold colors the way that the seasonal sticker book does have. So keeping that in mind, let's see if the seasonal sticker book in here has some deeper color boxes that I could use. Hmm, maybe not. Just trying to find some colorful boxes to layer. I think that, let's see if the squad goals has anything. I wish that this sticker book had some boxes that were this color. That is what I am wishing for right now. I think I'm actually just going to leave it. And then I am going to just keep decorating. So I know that on Friday is the day that my mom and I are going to be buying turkey for the big meal, so that's something to keep in mind. And that's really about it for the events that I have going on this week. So let me put one of these today stickers on Friday. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and lay this in the second box. Maybe along there. Now, this row is definitely looking a bit bare, so I'm going to be putting something there. I kind of want to put this because it is, after all, Thanksgiving week in Canada, so this seems like a good thing to have and it just clears the pumpkin it's perfect okay okay so since I put a list here I know that I can put a list in the middle and at the top okay so maybe I will put one of these here And then I actually have a seasonal sticker that I think will work well. That's this sticker. I think this is going to kind of pull some of the orange. So I'll put this here. And I think I'm actually close to being done. I'm trying to be okay with having a lot more white space. So keeping that in mind. Okay. Okay. Now I like for there to be two functional boxes. So there's definitely a lot of functionality going on here, which I do like, but I do want to dress it up a little bit more. So I put some leaves here. So I know I want to add some foliage and leaves on this side, just trying to figure out where I'm going to put it. 
I think I'm going to add a couple here. I'm gonna add one here. I, I think I'll still be able to write over there. Um, that'll be enough room for me. And then there's a big space right over here to write. I think that this spread is pretty close to being done. I'm gonna put a checklist up here and then I might actually be finished. I actually know that I have kind of a two box sticker that I might be able to put over there. Let's see, or maybe I can put it down here. It is this sticker. Now I already have a big box sticker that says grateful. So I think I maybe I might just leave it. And then I will add a checklist up there. There's gonna be a lot of things that, that will need to get done on Sunday. I'm gonna lift this up so I can squeeze this checklist in. Okay. It's a little crooked, which will drive me crazy. There we go. All right. Okay, so this feels very bare here and then over here. So I think I need to add some sort of decorative elements, just trying to figure out what. So I usually like to put one box sticker on every row, so I did do that, and then one checklist at the same time. So maybe I can add in some quotes. Yes, that's something I definitely have not done. Okay, let me look at the gold star quotes because they do have a lot of fall themed quotes as well. There's an entire page of every single season. And then some fall quotes to go with it. I kind of love this. Since we are going to be getting together, I feel like that's okay, but I need to be able to put it on straight. I love that. And then I think it needs a quote right down here. And I kind of want to put this one. I'm so glad to live in a world where there are Octobers. Now, I'm just trying to think. I know that I, I like to have for there to be two boxes for functionality, but I think that this will work even if I put it here. Okay. Um, now, this can be maybe a Mambi quote of the week. I definitely miss Fun Corner Friday. It's just been one of those weeks. Usually I like for this spread to be done ahead of time, but it has taken me a while. Oh my gosh, I love the florals here. And I think I'm almost done this spread. I kind of want to put some more foliage here. And then I think I might be done. Where should I put it? Here. Hmm. I think maybe if I cut it off. Oh, oh dear. If I cut off the stem, will that go there? Okay, actually like that. And then maybe I can put a leaf right here. Okay. And I like that because this foliage kind of balances that. I'm thinking that this leaf really doesn't go though and I should just take it out. I'm just wondering if I should put some bullet points or if I should just leave it as is. Maybe I can put a little pumpkin. No. Maybe I will just put one of these orange leaves. Okay. It's a bit big. 
formed a little bit of sticker surgery and I cut this apart. I'm sure I'll be able to use that some other time. And then I think, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then maybe I'm just going to add some bullet points and then this spread should be good. I always am unsure as to how many bullet points to add. I think I might make this to be my um, Mambi quote of the week, just that little cluster there. I like to keep that in mind as I'm planning just so that I can figure out what I want to highlight. Put a little asterisk there. And then I can do a little today over here. Okay. And then I can put maybe a little leaf to act as a bullet point here. An orange one I think will work. Yes. And then here I will add a couple of bullet points. Since I already have a list, I shouldn't need more than that. I might actually want to do one of these watercolor green circles just to kind of play off of the circle I did over there and then do it a little higher. If I can just lay this on correctly. Okay. And then I can leave that blank and then just go ahead and write what I need to. And then maybe I will do a bullet point there. I find that I've definitely been paring down my sicker usage, which is great. But at the same time, it feels like some of my spreads are so bare and I almost miss going ham on using stickers. So keeping that in mind, I am definitely just going to go crazy a little bit and use a lot of stickers. So maybe I'll put one of these right there so I can make that be a bit more functional. And then I will put one of these headers over on this side. Actually, maybe not, I don't think I need to. I will just put another bullet point here. Maybe one of a purple one. Okay. And then I think, I think I'm getting close to being done. Just going to add another bullet point there or some more functionality. Okay. I think maybe if I, I don't really want to stagger that. Maybe I'll just do it a little offset. Okay. And I think this spread is pretty much done. I really like how I use a lot of stickers. I feel like I should actually add some more foliage over here on this side. Maybe I'll put a little leaf beside this spike. And then I think I should be done. Oh, cap a little pumpkin there. I'm just wondering if I should also add a pumpkin on this side, considering that there's a couple of pumpkins here. Hmm. Just trying to see. Okay, maybe I will add just one small pumpkin here. Okay. And then I think I'm going to take a step back and to just leave that as is. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly do appreciate it. If you like this video, I hope you'll click like. And don't forget to subscribe.